Kevin Hart attacks Brock Lesnar, theory changing his name again in WWE. AEW star admits he is a big fan of Triple H running WWE creative. The Rock shares his honest thoughts on Brock Lesnar. Vince McMahon threatens to fire Edge. Cody Rhodes references his arch rival. Let's jump right into our first story. Theory changing his name again in WWE. WWE superstar Theory was forced to undergo a name change following WrestleMania as he had his first name taken away, as he was previously known and advertised as Austin Theory. PW Insider is now reporting that Mr. Money in the Bank could be set to get his name back. According to a report via Cage Side Seats, Theory is being advertised under his full name for this weekend's live events. As of writing, it's unclear if this is a mistake or if Theory has been handed his full name back. The change could be a creative adjustment following Vince McMahon's retirement from the company. Theory was known as Austin Theory until April this year, when it was decided that he would be known as just Theory moving forward. The former NXT superstar used his real first name. This was seemingly against Vince McMahon's edict that prevented former indie stars from using their names or other stars from using their real name. This affected many main roster superstars, including Pete Dunne who re-debuted as Butch, and Tommaso Ciampa who has since become known as just Ciampa. It is also possible that because Stone Cold Steve Austin returned at WrestleMania, the company was pushing for him to make several more appearances and didn't want to have two Austins on the show. Theory has been somewhat successful since his name change and is now Mr. Money in the Bank. Holding the coveted briefcase puts him in prime position to become world champion in the near future. Do you think WWE should give Theory his full name back? Have your say in the comments section below. AEW star admits he is a big fan of Triple H running WWE Creative. AEW star Matt Hardy praised the recent changes in WWE products and said that it's good for the industry. The game became the head of creative after Vince McMahon announced his retirement a few weeks ago. Since the major change, the recent shows of Raw, SmackDown, and NXT have been well received by fans and even current superstars. During an episode of the Extreme Life of Matt Hardy podcast, the former superstar complimented the recent shows. He added that this is good for both All Elite Wrestling and World Wrestling Entertainment since it would make them competitive. It's very refreshing, their product recently and I just think at the end of the day, it is very good for the industry. It helps make their show better, and it helps make WWE and AEW more competitive. Besides the King of Kings, Shawn Michaels and Road Dogg also landed backstage roles. HBK is a producer for NXT 2.0 and the new Vice President of Talent Development Creative. Meanwhile, Dogg reportedly returned to an executive position. Although the 14-time world champion only recently took up the role, significant changes have already happened under his creative direction. Several superstars who were released earlier this year, like Dakota Kai, Dexter Loomis, Johnny Gargano, and Karrion Cross, among others, have returned to the company. Recent reports also showed that more wrestling is being showcased in different brands. Raw after SummerSlam reportedly featured 26 minutes of wrestling per hour. The latest episode of the Red Brand even garnered more than 2 million views. It will be interesting to see if the company can continue to produce shows that can continuously impress fans and industry stalwarts. What do you think about the recent shows under Triple H's guidance? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Vince McMahon threatens to fire Edge. Matt Hardy recalled the time when Vince McMahon threatened to fire him and Edge if they intentionally hurt each other during their WWE match at SummerSlam 2005. The rated R superstar and Hardy had a memorable feud in 2005 because of their real-life controversy. While Hardy was out due to an injury, it was revealed that his girlfriend at the time, Lita, cheated on him with Edge. In a recent episode of The Extreme Life of Matt Hardy, the former WWE superstar revealed that the conflict caused some concern to Vince McMahon. We're sitting and the first thing Vince says, he says, Adam, Matt, you know, the WWE is my company, right? He says, you know that this event, SummerSlam, is my event that I created, right? We both go, yes. He says, you know that I have rented this venue for the night, right? So this is basically my arena. Do you understand that? We go, yes. He said, you know, that wrestling ring out there. That is my wrestling ring. Do you understand that? He said. Matt continued and said that Vince threatened them and said that neither of them will work in the industry again if they hurt each other. I'm going to tell you about this right now. If either one of you go out there tonight and try and take liberties with each other, if you try and intentionally hurt one another, I am the most powerful man in this industry. I promise you neither one of you will ever work a day in this industry again. Do you understand? We go, yeah, sure, we understand. The 2005 match saw the Hall of Famer come out victorious after the referee stopped the match. In the same interview, the AEW star added that McMahon gave them bizarre advice about how he wanted the match to play out. The former chairman wanted their match to look like animals in the wild. We told him in detail this what we were talking about doing, and he said, okay, great. I'm gonna explain something to both of you right now, this is really what I want to see. This is basic psychology. He said, have you ever seen two animals in the wild, in the wild kingdom, when they're going to fight one another? Have you ever seen one animal wound 
wound another animal. When it wounds an animal and the animal starts bleeding, and it smells the blood, it gets bigger, it swells up, and it just wants to kill the other animal. Do you know what I'm talking about? A former WWE superstar later stated that they were shaken up following the advice. However, he suggested that it was probably a way for Vince to mend things between Hardy and Edge. The Rock shares his honest thoughts on Brock Lesnar. The Rock has heaped massive praise on former WWE rival Brock Lesnar via an Instagram post earlier today. 20 years ago, The Rock and Brock Lesnar squared off in the main event of SummerSlam 2002 with the undisputed WWE Championship on the line. In what many deemed a passing of the torch moment, the Beast Incarnate put the Great One down to become the youngest WWE Champion in history. The Rock took to Instagram to share a heartfelt post remembering the iconic bout. He wrote that the duo made history together at the biggest party of the summer, and pro wrestling was never the same. He then heaped praise on Lesnar, stating he was one of the greatest pure athletes with whom he shared the ring. Many fans regard SummerSlam 2002 as one of the greatest WWE pay-per-views in history. The eight-match card was loaded with star power from top to bottom. Be it the exciting opener pitting Kurt Angle against Rey Mysterio or the brutal unsanctioned street fight between Triple H and Shawn Michaels, almost every match on the show delivered. The night's final contest ran for about 16 minutes, with The Rock doing everything in his power to defeat Lesnar and potentially retain his undisputed WWE Championship. However, a devastating F5 by Lesnar ended The Rock's reign, and the former was crowned the new WWE Undisputed Champion. After Lesnar and Paul Heyman left the ring, The Rock cut a promo, hinting at a heel turn. By that point, the WWE Universe had collectively turned against the Brahma Bull. He returned mere months later, kicking off a legendary heel run as Hollywood Rock. Meanwhile, Lesnar spent the next two years dominating the SmackDown brand. He left WWE in March 2004 and became a mainstream star courtesy of his UFC run. He returned to WWE in 2012 to kick off his second WWE stint. It's been 20 years since Lesnar's debut, and he is still one of the most popular wrestlers in the world. Fans will have to wait and see when and where he decides to show up next. Cody Rhodes references his arch-rival. Cody Rhodes took to Twitter to respond to a fan who recently got a tattoo in honor of the American Nightmare. Interestingly enough, Rhodes responded by referencing his arch-rival Seth Rollins as he quoted the fan's tweet and tweeted out a gif of the former Universal Champion. Additionally, Rhodes also sent a short message to his fan as he seemed quite impressed with the artwork, love it, adrenaline in your soul. Wrote Rhodes, Rhodes returned to WWE earlier this year and was welcomed back by Rollins at WrestleMania 38. The former WWE Intercontinental Champion and went on to beat Rollins at the grandest stage of them all and followed up with two big wins over the Visionaire. At WrestleMania Backlash, Rhodes went 2-0 over his arch-rival, and at this year's Hell in a Cell, he put up a grueling performance with torn pectoral muscle to win the trilogy bout. In reaction to Cody Rhodes' hilarious tweet, the WWE Universe reacted by referencing the former Universal Champion in the replies. The majority of fans referenced Rollins in response to Rhodes and also came up with hilarious reactions of their own. Rollins and Rhodes' feud has been regarded as one of the best rivalries of 2022. However, with the American Nightmare on the shelf, Rollins has now shifted his focus towards Riddle. Rollins and Riddle will finally cross paths at the upcoming clash at the Castle Premium Live event. Their match at this year's SummerSlam 2022 was scrapped just days before the show. As for Rhodes, it remains to be seen when he will be returning to in-ring action. While there is a possibility of the American Nightmare returning at the 2022 Royal Rumble, nothing has been confirmed as of yet. Kevin Hart attacks Brock Lesnar Popular Hollywood actor and stand-up comedian Kevin Hart is unfazed by Brock Lesnar's strength and size, claiming that he can take on the former WWE Champion. Kevin has been a close associate of Dwayne The Rock Johnson in and out of Hollywood. It looks like the comedian could also be looking to emulate the Great One's career inside the squared circle. He has called out the Beast Incarnate on multiple occasions in the past. During a recent interview with Becky Lynch, Hart stressed that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brock. Kevin also disclosed the name of his maneuver. You guys are all caught up on size. That's what you guys are. Everybody's looking at the size. Oh my god, that's a big man. I'll tell you what else is big. Did you see that? It's called the overhand scorpion tail. You don't want to get hit with the scorpion tail. Brock Lesnar last stepped inside the squared circle at the Summer Slam, where he took on Roman Reigns in a last man standing match for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The bout was billed as the last match ever between the two after a year's long rivalry. The Tribal Chief stood tall at the end to retain his title. The match was filled with memorable moments, with the Beast Incarnate even using a tractor on multiple occasions. Towards the end of the match, Brock used a tractor to lift a side of the ring, causing Roman Reigns to tumble down from the other side. However, the Usos came out to help the head of the table, burying Lesnar underneath the announcer table to pick up the victory. The Beast Incarnate has not been seen on TV programming since then. WWE fans are no strangers when it comes to booking celebrities in a wrestling match. While it's just a joke at this point, a potential match between Kevin Hart and Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania could could certainly capture the interest of fans. Uh, uh, uh.
I feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm